In the past years, CMS 8th graders have interviewed hundreds of veterans who graciously shared pieces of their military careers with the students. We are honored to share some of their words with you. Some of those interviewed served in the Korean War, the Persian Gulf War, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Vietnam. Some are currently serving, and others saw no combat at all. And yet, one common theme echoed throughout each and every interview. A love for our country and a dedication to keep our nation free from tranny. At the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month, we honor the sons and daughters who answered the call to defend our country. It is our privilege to say thank you to all America's veterans. Some of them died for us. They didn't have a chance to share their lives with others. They had no future, but gave their lives to give us freedom. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us the freedom of speech. U.S. Marine Corps, Private First Class, Rob Slomansky. The Marine Corps made me a better man and made me more productive. It teaches you a lot and brings out the good in you. Desert Storm, U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant, Kevin Bobo. Serving in the military showed me how good we have it in this country. I came away with more pride for the United States, feeling that I had contributed to this great country. United States Air Force Crew Chief, Donald Matner. To be in the military, you need honesty, integrity, and willingness to learn and adapt. And maybe the most important thing is to be able to work and live with people who are different from yourself. It taught me how to be independent and adapt to different situations. Operation Iraqi Freedom Army Staff Sergeant Don Miller. I would recommend the military to young people today because you experience the world in a way that you don't get as a civilian. Vietnam War Senior Tank Commander David Latrenta. Serving helped me grow up faster and learn to respect and improve myself. My most memorable aspect is gaining the respect for my subordinates and my superiors. Never be angry at a slow limping veteran at the store. He walks in pain so you do not have to. Ballistics meteorologist, Army Specialist, Jim Steffens. Younger generations need to appreciate veterans because they are willing to give their lives to protect them and their freedoms. Operation Iraqi Freedom Army Specialist, Kevin Caterinos. I was frightened of not making it back to my family. You learn to be grateful for what you have and live every day to the fullest. Cuban Missile Crisis, U.S. Navy Boat Swain, Mate Raul Rivas. War has no winner. United States Marine Corps Operation Iraqi Freedom, Perry Bishop. I was a total punk and my service changed that totally. It taught me patience, tolerance, self-discipline, and maturity. You learn to focus on the mission. Someone would scream in your ear and you could still be focused. Desert Storm Navy Petty Officer 3rd Class James Somerville. The Navy showed me how much of a need there was in the world for support from the U.S. military. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. Desert Storm U.S. Navy Darren Bowles. Kids do not understand the sacrifices we have made for this country. They should appreciate the people who gave their lives for us to be comfortable in this country. United States Army Alan Peranto. Veterans are one of the core groups that has modeled our country into what it is today. Staff Sergeant Robert Kubash Jr. The American people did not see all of the positive things our soldiers were doing to improve the quality of lives of the Iraq or Afghan people. All the news showed was who has died or was wounded. It feels good when I see a child in the arms of his parents. Only history will tell us if we are doing the right thing. World War II Private Louis Schmidt. Our Navy ship was bombed and three of my friends were never seen again. 
Korean War second class Navy Petty Officer Ronald Harrison. We had to go through a really bad typhoon with 60 foot waves. We lost 105 feet of the ship blown right off. Nine were killed. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. More on terror. U.S. Air Force Aviation Specialist Christopher Cutterbeck. In 2003, we had gotten attacked and had to stay in our bunker for weeks with gas masks. It was a scary time. United States Army Private First Class Marvin Gordon. If you are looking for a place to build yourself as a person and get mentally and physically stronger, then the Army is for you. If you don't like getting yelled at, the Army is not for you. But it actually forces you to get into a routine, and these routines will make you feel like it has meaning. I take more pride in my job. Operation Iraqi Freedom, Army Sergeant Tim Neary. If you have actually seen a poor foreign country where people actually starve to death or die of diseases, that you should be eradicated by now and still see smiles on their faces. It puts things into perspective. The United States has its first world problems where people get bent out of shape over insignificant things. Air Force Corporal Richard Murray. Recognize veterans. Appreciate veterans. Congratulate them and thank them for their work and service. Operation Enduring Freedom, Afghanistan Marine Corporal Ronald Scott. The military changed me for the better. It gave me opportunities and life experiences with different cultures that I otherwise would have never had. Only the best, physically, mentally, and morally, are called to war. The tragedy is that only the best are fit to be killed. Cold War, Germany, 1972, Army Specialist, Mark Hudson. I met people of all races and creeds. I learned how to get along well with people of all types. I am proud of serving on the front lines and what I've given my life for my country. Operation Iraq Freedom Army Sergeant Ray Hashida. The Army made me realize two things. One, how big the world is, and two, how dangerous it is. United States Army Afghanistan Combat Medic Curtis L. Smith. The military changed everything and every view I had. I looked at the value of life and the value of my family's life much different than most people. There were many times I was anxious, but never scared. I had faith in all of my brothers. Field, artillery, firefinder, army specialist, Emery Pan. It made me very thankful for the privileged life I have here in America. To see children and families that have lived their lives constantly running from war and so poor that a small wall of soup with a few bits of meat is their daily meal. It changes you. And these same people would have offered to share their last foods with us. It was incredible. It is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us freedom of religion. United States Marine Lance Corporal Chris Lopez. I've become desensitized to a lot of serious issues like death and such. I struggle in civilian life now. Kids need to understand the simplest of things, like going to bed in a warm home is a luxury. Because there are soldiers in the 3 by 3 foot hole in the ground staying up for days with only the warmth coming from the person next to them. There is so much I wish I could tell kids today. U.S. Navy Staff Surgeon Eric Goodwater the expectations of soldiers is higher than most people would be willing to give. The soldier volunteers to do whatever our executive and legislative branch of the government wants us to do, even if the soldier doesn't believe that they are making the correct decision. Fallen soldier and former Utah Mayor, Major Brent Taylor. I hope everyone back home exercises their precious right to vote and whether the Republicans or the Democrats win, I hope that we will all remember that we have far more as Americans that unites us than divides us. May God forever bless America. Army Staff Sergeant Joey Santiago. A good soldier never judges a person before you get to know them. I did 
what many others before me choose to do. A hero in my eyes are the fathers and mothers who raise their children to be honest, respectful people. In World War I, Major John McCrae wrote a poem about a fellow fallen soldier. He referenced the red poppy flower that you see veterans handed out at storefronts on Memorial Day weekend. It symbolizes the soldiers who have died for our country. In planted fields, the poppies grow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the lark, still bravely sing and fly, scars heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt on, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in flamed fields. Take up your quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep through poppies grow in Flanders fields. Please listen to the 8th grade chorus singing this beautiful poem set to music. veterans who died for our country and were unable to fulfill their dreams. We thank them for giving us the freedom to follow lives. To all the veterans who are currently serving, your devotion to protect our land, sea, and air is immeasurable. We thank you for putting our lives before your own. And to all of you here at CMS, never forget, freedom is not free. And next time you see a veteran, offer to shake their hand, tip your hat, smile, or simply say thank you. We will now have a moment of silence for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and for those who may lose their lives today. Mm -hmm. 